Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome to the channel. Y'all see who we finna talk about? We in Messyville. We are right smack dab in the middle. Right dab in the middle. Woo! I guess Simon said, why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Child Simon was on his Instagram account. Yes! He was on his Instagram account and he was playing I like you know by guy the way you make me move I like something okay but it was playing in the background and I was like where is he taking this big sexy thing to okay where is he taking big sexy which happens to be Portia's Rolls Royce okay and one of my fans <coughs> excuse me one of my family members over here at YouTube at the house, she made a very good comment. I cannot lie, I laughed my behind off. She said that Simon likes antique things. <laughs> like, what? And I gotta think about that thing. She said the cars are old, Porsche are old. Now, she might not say it, Portia, but I just threw that one in there for the laugh effects. <laughs> the house is old. Lord, can I find it? Can I find the right video where she was saying? Yeah, she said Portia must like old stuff. Her car is old, the plane is old, and her man is old. <laughs> I don't understand her at all. And I'm like, girl, she's in the antique shop, and she's staying right there, okay? Hoping she could come up on a gold mine. <laughs> Woo! Yes, yeah, she was right. That plane show is old. Okay, I'm like, I'm hoping it's getting maintenance, so she, neither one of them would be taken up to the friendly skies and fall down very hard. Okay, so I am really hoping these places where he is getting his, well, it ain't his plane, so I hope the place that he is renting they service them monthly okay but some was just all kikis and laughs honey you see he got that cigar and i'm like wait a minute uh portia has nene introduce you to naomi because he can hook your man up with some of them african attire uh men's wears okay just go on over there because naomi ain't paying no attention to um Nene just like Simon ain't paying no attention to you. He is using his social media platform to floss, gloss, and slide it and toss it to the side. Okay, that's what he doing, y'all. He he is flossing all the way and he don't give a shit. Okay. He like I'm gonna put everything, everything I possibly can on social media because I am me and you are you and they are them. Okay? And I have the money to floss, to gloss, and to toss it up if I want to. Okay, I'm like, nah, this ain't no salads or uh, uh simon we don't just need the lettuce we need the croutons the the uh tomatoes we need the cheese we need uh some meat in there grilled preferably but honey he is in happy happy land when he got that cigar in his mouth and he rolled around in something extraordinary and expensive he is in pro hog heaven yes he is is i'm like whoa and on the instagram account with one of those photos he said like wifey ride and i'm like well, i ain't porsche ain't riding in that car but look who look at look at who comes cooking her so oh well her pretty bouncy self there go munchkin there go munchkin it looked like she has a little 
storybook in her hand and she like mama you better stop taking these photos of me and come read me my story you've been gone forever in a day come read me my story now i did this photo out with father time okay now i need to have time with you that's what that picture is giving me because she's looking staring at somebody and it must be her mother because only her mother look like and dennis can make her smile now is that an expensive watch y'all i just want to know <laughs> because i'm pretty sure Portia done set up there, bought him for all the time, a time watch, okay? And I'm like, is that expensive, y'all? Because he want us to know, or Portia want us to know, somebody want us to know that that's a new watch. And it must be expensive. Does it look antique -ish? Yes, it do. But it doesn't matter when it comes to Simon Gobadia, okay? And I just want to highlight his little accent colors going on here. Don't know why he, uh, somebody wanted to take the photo of a cuff sleeve, but maybe y'all know. And, you know, I kept looking from side to side, from the back to the front, and I'm checking to see where the cuff seat at. Where is the cuff seat? All right, he went into his legendary shop, of course, and pulled out Porsche's ride, which must be that middle one, because, he, you know, he had to bag it out. Now, I'm like, come on, fam, tell me the truth, because I want to know how you do this, how you get away with this. If he's in a subdivision, okay, if he's in a subdivision that's gated, meaning a gated community, how in the hell he, he's able to have cars or babysit cars like y'all say? Isn't that against the living policy in a, a gated community when you have a home association? How can you have trucks bringing you in cars to your house that you're storing there? Is that possible? Can he do that on a, a, a residential area? Because that don't seem kosher right now. That just don't seem kosher. That you having a business where you babysit cars, lux luxury, high-end cars, mind you. I understand that. But how could you possibly have them stored up in your three-car garage when it's really made for three cars, not 369? You see where I'm going? He's stacking them up there. Well, 246. So, I'm sorry about that. Y'all know I didn't do too well in algebra or whatever. <laughs> But yeah, three car garage, and he got six cars up in there. And I would love to see how they would bring. That's what you need to do, Simon. You need to show me how that them cars come to your house and load them up in your garage, cause that would be interesting and exciting. My curiosity is peaked at this point. Come show and prove us how does these uh, entities bring you cars and they stack them up like that. I just want to see it or can somebody youtube it or send me a link to a youtube where they do do they do this mess because they don't need stack cars in the car lot like that they all be on a flat surface so i'm not understanding can you do this in a residential subdivision okay y'all get out of them comments let me know all right because part i mean um he said wifey told him to take the car for a spin. And I see his big old head up in there trying to floss and gloss and do what it make it do. But I'm like, boy. And why y'all doing this at nighttime? We could have had better optics on what you were trying to do. It just seemed like y'all, you and me and you and Portia, just get up there and say, what can we do? What can we put on the gram now? What can we do to put on the gram and make everybody jealous of us? I'm like, hey, Portia, we're not jealous of you, baby. We're trying to see what is Simon doing. Again, Simon and you are putting crazy shit on uh youtube or instagram and if you ever go in debt or whatever they gonna see everything that you possibly could be hiding from them so i hope you don't do no crime i hope you never fall on hard times and all that good stuff but i'm still trying to figure out where that car seat at because if that's your primary car that you roll around here in atlanta okay doing your do what you make it do whenever you do it girl where's the car seat where is the car seat for little munchkin okay pj can't be sitting up there like she's a grown-ass woman she needs some safety restraint she needs her car seat she needs to be okay damage control in case an uh, accident happens we don't want to see her all tossed up and bundled up no ma'am so where is the car seat simon don't floss mama car 
meaning your so-called girlfriend but you, you saying wife and she saying hubby and ain't neither one of y'all got nothing on paper legally showing that you're married okay i'm just saying i am just saying okay but Simon is in his happy place. Whenever he got that cigar, that brown liquor, and a, a nice high-end ride, he is showing off and showing nothing but teeth. Nothing but teeth up in there. Because he like, hey, 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 I'm in my happy place. I'm in my happy zone. Can't nobody else with me. Okay, ain't nobody going to tell me what I can put and not put on my social media platform. I like cars. I like, um... Uh, well, it seems like he like watches now. He like golf and in and everything with that brown liquor and that cigar and that pool like a jacuzzi thing. He is fine. You can leave him wherever he needs to be left because he don't want to be bothered. Once he got all of those entities behind him that he could partake of, he living in hog heaven. The man is truly living in hog heaven. And I'm like, he liked that light blue suit. <laughs> I'm like, Portia, don't buy him no more. Oh, uh, we call it American clothes. Go on back over there. You need to go over there and talk to your friend, Nene, while she's showcasing Naomi over there. He got some nice African clothes, okay? Uh, they might be a little bit too expensive from what Simon Bear wants to pay. Okay, Father Time might not want to be putting out all that stuff uh, for clothing wear. It seems like he lost some weight. So I'm like, okay, okay, Simon. All right. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's healthy loss, weight loss. Because, you know, you be smoking, you be drinking, and you be eating uh, high cholesterol food. So uh, check yourself out, Simon. Check yourself out. Okay. Get your prostate checked. Check your cholesterol. Do all those things. Because you are an amusement park for me. I love to look at you act the fool. And you do it so well. <laughs> so well like now he's showing us a watch here people he is showing us a watch i'm like get down in them comments tell me is that an expensive graded watch okay and we don't care about his clothing because simon don't really care about his clothing okay he was just flossing that night feeling himself maybe they went out for a nice dinner who knows and they picked pj up on the way back but it is what it is, guys. I just want to drop this video because I am tuning in. I am giving you the play-by-play -play of Simon Gabodia's travels and comings and goings when it comes to them cigars, that brown liquor, and his car collection. Okay? His car collection. And like I said, they're not all his. So which one, is, which one of them are yours? Okay? Which one of them are yours? Is it A, B, or C? Or D, F? Wait a minute. Oh, I've got my alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, which one? Which one? Because we saw the middle car that you pulled out, uh, bagged out the garage. You're saying that's wifey car. Okay? Even though it ain't got no car seat in now. But you're saying that's wifey car. Now, which one is yours out of those six cars? I want to know. Did you might have some on the outside too? That little gray fast where you like to mimic yourself off of Dennis McKinley. Because I saw he had his first time. He had his car first. All right. But I don't know. You just like to look like Dennis, act like Dennis. Cause I think Dennis smokes cigars too here and there. But he don't have them in his hand like you do. He don't have them in his hands like you do. Okay. But anyway, you enjoy yourself, Mr. Gabadia. And we will always look. Be peeping in the windows to see what you're doing next. Okay. Or we might just be sitting out there on, on, on the lounge. Or just lounging around. Okay. Waiting for you to come outside to showcase. Okay. That's all. I'm like the mini paparazzi uh, that you love or would love to have. Filming you, your every move, your every uh, at every location as possible. But right now, you're just setting it off on social media. I'm trying to definitely give you some shine. And you never disappoint when you come out because you show out. <laughs> okay. I'm like, Portia, anytime you want to ring this ninja back in, let us know. Because it seems like he done broke camp. He's free willed and he's going to do what he think he needs to make it do. Okay. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.